Brooklyn, some modern DNA techniques unlocked a four-decade-old murder case. KPIX 5's Wilson Walker spoke to the victim's daughter, whose long wait for justice is almost over. While so much attention has been paid to the ghost ship trial underway here in Oakland, another remarkable trial has just landed in the hands of a jury, a murder case almost 40 years old. The jury is picking a foreman as we speak. For the family of Betty Elias, this is a wait for justice that started in October of 1979. You know, she's missed out on my wedding, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren and her great-great-grandchildren that never got a chance to know her, and nieces and nephews. Betty Jean Elias was found dead in her room at the 1900 block of San Pablo Avenue in a building that is long gone. At the time, the Bay Area was awash in headline grabbing crimes, and by comparison, the rape and murder of Elias went almost entirely unreported. It wasn't on the news. You know, it was like she was a nobody. Joanne Paletta is Elias's daughter. She spent years asking Oakland police to follow up on the case. And when the department used DNA evidence in 2016, it led them to Dennis Ray Eagle, already in federal prison for sexual assault. I just feel that OPD believing in me and sending out that DNA, if, if that hadn't happened, we wouldn't be here. So after 39 years, the case now in the hands of a jury for the family, it comes down to a wait for a verdict. Then I'll finally have justice for my mom and closure for the family. We've waited so long for this. And while this case is particularly old, there are more like it on the docket here. The deputy district attorney handling this case says he has another DNA-based trial set for next month. That one from the 1980s. In Oakland, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.